Hi, I'm Angie and we are going to make peanut butter cups today. Um, yeah, so usually I think about um, when I'm thinking about a video, what kind of content would be helpful to you or maybe inspiring. Um, but today I'm just really craving peanut butter cups and that's why we're going to make them. And maybe also um, a little bit of background um, about my peanut butter journey. Um, so I grew up in Germany in the 90s and like honestly um, peanut butter was not a big thing back then. Um, today you can get it everywhere but I remember that I had to ask my mom if she could um, yeah, um, get me some peanut butter because I saw it in probably pop culture like in some kind of movies or, or TV shows and um, she had to get it in a health store like in a specialty health store which was called a reform house or yeah it, I mean it still exists but I'm not shopping there anymore. So um, yeah, so it was really not a big thing. This also means that I didn't grow up with peanut butter cups, like none at all. The first peanut butter cup I've had was probably in 2016 maybe, 2017, uh, once we moved here to Seattle. Um, and I mean, they tasted okay to me, but I just didn't like the chocolate, like the chocolate shell. I like the peanut butter inside, but I mean, like honestly, the quality of the chocolate of peanut butter cups that you can get at a store, it's pretty low. So um, yeah, today I want to use my own chocolate and make peanut butter cups that I like. And of course you can use milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, just whatever kind of chocolate you want to use. One more thing I should mention, um, usually I do not like or don't recommend using um, silicone molds for your chocolate bonbons. Today we're not making bonbons, like to be honest, peanut butter cups are not the most pretty thing you've ever seen. Well, at least I don't think so. They might be delicious, but not pretty. Um, silicone molds, they tend to leave like weird streaks or maybe even a haze on your chocolate bonbons and you don't, just don't get the same results as um, if you would use a polycarbonate mold. But today, silicone molds make sense um, because I think it's easier in the end to um, release the peanut butter cups. And um, yeah, I think in this case it makes sense. And I also found really cute silicone molds um, that should give us a good end result. I should also mention that I've never done those before, so I'll be prepared for some mistakes. I don't know why, but I find this very satisfying, all of those colorful, tiny, little cute cups. Um, yeah, first I thought I would make um, a very simple um, cup, just using some old peanut butter. So this one here only has peanuts in it, I think. Yeah, only peanuts, and I like it crunchy. Um, that's what I first thought, and then I came across this one here, um, a macadamia butter. So we also use this and then I also make my own peanut butter. So in here I have um, peanuts um, and it's a smooth peanut butter. So I have peanuts, um, some sugar and chocolate in here. So this is more um, of a rich and um, yeah, sweeter peanut butter. So I have three peanut butters I want to use. But we start out with our chocolate. So here I have my dark chocolate and I will um, temper it. Yes, so here I have the silicone molds, but I also want to try something out. So here I have those classic um, paper molds. I think that if you only use the paper mold that your um, yeah, chocolate will just get stuck on the paper and it will not be fun to get it out. So I will also spray it with some, uh, one of these, um, to make sure it, it doesn't stick. Um, how am I doing that now? To not... Okay, wait. I have to get those out of the way. Maybe use a towel. I think that's good enough. No? Might be good enough. I hope so. And that's it. Okay, let's bring those back in. Alright, let's start. Um, I think I'll just pour a little bit in. I don't want it too thick. I'm just going around. And then... Hmm. Yeah, it should be good enough. And then I'll, um, the excess chocolate, I'll just fill um, another um, silicon cup with it. That makes sense. Thank you. 
Okay, and at last... This one here. And this one, this chocolate, I'll just um, keep it separated um, because of the um, spray. Great, they're all um, already beginning to set over here. So now I'll give them into the refrigerator for maybe 30 minutes and then we can already fill them. So this was super easy. It took me, I would say, not even 10 minutes to fill all of them and um, yeah, create the shell. So here we go. Uh, what I can tell you right now is that the paper um, cup, it just doesn't hold its shape as good as the silicone ones. My own peanut butter, orange, um, the regular peanut butter, because otherwise I will totally forget what's in which. Okay, let's start with the blue ones. I was just thinking if I'd use um, a piping bag or just simply add this with my spoon. And I feel like if I only have six cups, it's more work to clean this, I think, than to just use this spoon. Not a big fan of cleaning here. Um, yeah, and you want to make sure that you don't fill it up completely because you also want to have a nice top. Wait, the paper one. Moving forward with the orange cups. Orange was the regular peanut butter. This is really, really thick. Um, I heated it up for like 30 um, seconds in the microwave. And we are a little bit too warm. So let's wait a couple of more minutes. So we don't uh, risk to kick our chocolate out of temper. So just like I would do with my uh, polycarbonate molds, um, I'm evening out the peanut butter. Moving forward with the rose or, or the pink ones. That's the macadamia. So looking good. Now I have six left of the green ones and so I will do two blue, two orange and two um, pink and I just hope that I'll figure it out in the end which one is which. And that's it. Um, so I also want those to set for at least half an hour to an hour because right now um, especially this one here and the macadamia is really runny and I just wanted to firm up a little bit in the fridge. Here we go again. So my own peanut butter set pretty well. Um, also uh, the simple peanut butter. Uh, the macadamia is still pretty liquid but I don't think it will ever set. Um, I tempered my chocolate again. In this case I wanted to use a piping bag because I really want to fill them up as neat as I can and as full as I can. Unfortunately, I don't have enough chocolate for those three here. Um, yeah, I used 400 grams of chocolate. Um, unfortunately, not enough, but I have to move forward because um, I'm also color coding just a little bit. Um, so later I know what's in what. Let's just do a couple of drops. Um, I thought I would not do anything with colors here on, on this project today. Um, but then I figured, well, how will I know what's in which? Let's just do a couple of drops. And so later I will know the orange ones. Those are the ones, um, yeah, with the, with the bought peanut butter. 
now I'll let the chocolate set in my refrigerator again for another 30 minutes. So here they are. I'm just putting on some gloves. I would say we just disregard um, those three where I haven't had enough chocolate. Now maybe let's start with the one I'm not so sure about and that's, oh yeah, the one with the paper. Look at that. This really works too. Let's get rid of those. Cool. So that's the one with the paper. Yeah, that, so that works too. That is great to know. Well, I guess and now uh, we'll just move forward and um, <laughs> do this with all of them. Let's take a look. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty good. Um, how about we cut one open? Okay, let's be fair, uh, next time I will need more filling. But other than that, I think they look pretty good. Nice. As always, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you have questions, you can leave them down in the description below. Or you can just send me a, um, a DM on Instagram at Chocolate Feel. You can find um, yeah, any kind of equipment in my Amazon affiliate links in the description below as well. And that's it for me today. Have a good one. Bye.